Hi you guys, I'm Chef Michael Simon and we are doing the Knob Creek Meat Masterclass and we're talking about meat selection. Now when you are selecting proteins, and in this case chicken, it's very much like se selecting a bourbon when you look at Knob Creek. You want to look at that nose, the, di the delicious aroma. Uh, you want to analyze the color, look at the color of the meat, is it what you're looking for, and then that mouth experience, the tongue feel. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the smell. You know, when you smell the chicken, it just smells fresh. It shouldn't have that kind of funky smell to it, and it shouldn't be watery. Those are bad signs with chicken. So that's the first thing that you're looking for. So there's different kinds of uh, chicken, like you look at a chicken nose to tail or beak to tail, and we have the breast, we have the wings, we have the thighs. The thing that I love about the thighs is they have a lot of flavor, more than the breast. I also like to cook them skin on and bone in, and that's what really gives that juiciness and that delicious, delicious mouthfeel you're looking at. When you're looking at a bourbon and you taste it, you can tell the quality of the bourbon by the mouthfeel. It's the same exact thing with chicken. Now, when you're looking at the color of the chicken, I look, like to look for a chicken that is almost a creamy white, not yellow. Yellow is not what we're looking for. So that creamy white skin on that thigh, that means we have a good chicken. Just like when you're looking at a bourbon and it's that deep color, means it's been aged a little longer, it's taken on some of the, the color of the barrel. So there's a lot of similarities when you're looking for a great bourbon and when you're looking for great chicken, but this is where we're gonna start. A couple keys when cooking proteins is I like to take it out of the refrigerator for about 20 or 30 minutes before we start to cook it so it comes to room temperature. It ensures that your meat and your protein cooks nice and evenly so it doesn't get dry. Now we're going to work on a quick marinade here. It is really simple. I love to do marinades with meats because it amps up the flavor, especially if you're grilling outside with your buddies. You can get a little bit more moisture in there, a little bit more flavor. So those are both great things. So this is a really simple one. We take a little bit of honey, whatever your favorite honey is some sriracha. I like to keep things on the spicy side. So with your favorite hot sauce, some soy. And remember, when you season this now, you're not going to need quite as much salt because you're adding the soy to that. Mustard. I like a Dijon. It has a nice kick to it. Some extra virgin oil. And we're just going to whisk this together till we get this nice marinade that's going to coat the chicken very evenly. Now we drop this in our marinade and you can marinate this for minimally 30 minutes so you're going to have to plan ahead a little bit but overnight is okay too. So if you're going out with your buddies and you want those really big full flavors that Knob Creek is going to give you, you put them right in there. Now we put that splash of Knob Creek right on top and again that's that big full flavor that we're looking for and we toss these in with the marinade. All right, you guys, so look at this. This is great. This is what we're looking for. We got that nice release with the chicken. We could move it back. Once we move it back, that's when you would close the grill, let it finish till you read about that 160 degree temperature. Like these guys back here. We're just gonna pull those off. You can see the skin, it continues to caramelize. I like to hit this with just a nice squeeze of lime juice, a couple of cilantro leaves. So look at this, just like when you're looking for that great bourbon. It has that great color, that caramelization, wonderful texture because of that thigh. Mm. Terrific aromas. It doesn't get any better than this. Mm. 